Hi, I'm Dr. Brian Young, a naturopathic doctor in Toronto. People with type 2 diabetes face unique challenges when trying to lose weight. Some of these issues can pose dangerous health risks if not properly addressed. Let's go through what you should know if you're a type 2 diabetic trying to lose weight. One, mind your medication. Depending on what stage and for how long you've been diabetic for, you may be taking a number of different types of diabetes medication. They range from the initial medications given to newer diabetics like metformin, to the stronger medications given to the more severe diabetics like the insulins. You may also be taking other medications for medical conditions related to diabetes such as high cholesterol or high blood pressure. Whenever my type 2 diabetic patients lose weight, their medication almost always needs to be adjusted. The two most common medications are the ones for blood sugar and the ones for blood pressure. As you lose weight, blood sugar control improves and diabetic medications often have to be carefully reduced to avoid low blood sugar problems. Secondly, blood pressure decreases and hypertensive medications often have to be properly lowered or discontinued to prevent low blood pressure problems. Managing these issues yourself improperly could potentially lead to an unwanted trip to the ER. Careful management of those medications is probably the number one thing that diabetics should talk to their doctor or healthcare provider about when attempting to lose weight. Find someone willing to work with you to reduce your medication if needed. 2. Watch your blood sugar. As before, one of the more common side effects that medicated type 2 diabetic patients experience while going on a weight loss diet is a drop in blood sugar. It occurs mostly with diabetics medicated with insulin rather than metformin or the sulfonurias, but is a potentially serious medical issue that needs to be addressed. Usually it happens when a patient does not take into account the smaller meal they've eaten and injects the same insulin dose as they have in the past. As a result, the blood sugar level drops below normal, causing symptoms of low blood sugar. Things like rapid heartbeats, fatigue, shakiness and sweating, or in worst cases, blurred vision and unconsciousness. We always recommend patients more carefully monitor their blood sugar levels and prepare for possible low blood sugar episodes by having something sweet on hand, especially if they're an insulin dependent diabetic. Work closely with your doctor about reducing or changing your insulin dose. 3. Schedule your meals. Plan and schedule your meals and snacks to more evenly spread out your food intake. For medicated diabetics, I usually recommend 3 small meals per day with 1-2 to two small snacks only as needed throughout the entire day, rather than say intermittent fasting or skipping breakfast. This helps diabetics more efficiently use the insulin to pull energy from their meals and helps to prevent long periods of fasting that can potentially cause low blood sugar. It can also help to reduce compensatory overeating when you finally do eat, as diabetics sometimes find it harder to control and manage hunger. This would also help control large spikes in blood sugar that would typically follow a very large meal. If you're taking scheduled medication, you may find it helpful to schedule your food intake around that as well to prevent any unwanted blood sugar drops. 4. Consider carb restriction. Almost every dietary protocol we use with diabetics involves some sort of carbohydrate restriction. Numerous studies have highlighted the effectiveness of low carbohydrate diets in diabetics for losing weight and controlling blood sugar. There are many styles of carbohydrate controlled diets, from ketogenic to paleo to simple low carb, each has their own specifics that are appropriate for certain people. The amount of carbohydrate you restrict depends highly on your situation. If you're a diabetic taking insulin, you'll have to be much more cautious about carb restriction. Keep in mind that low carbohydrate diets may not be appropriate for all diabetics, so you'll need to talk to your doctor about it first. 5. Consider additional support. Diabetes is a complicated disease in that it has far-reaching damaging effects on the body, from the nervous system to the cardiovascular system to the immune system, just to name a few. For long-time diabetics, who experience comorbidities related to diabetes such as hypertension, neuropathies, or kidney damage, I strongly recommend seeking help or therapies for those specific issues as well. These comorbidities can easily pose a significant challenge to your weight loss progress. For example, if you have foot issues from nerve damage, 
and as a result cannot remain physically active, see a foot doctor and consider nutrients for nerve support. If you have kidney issues, it may cause increased water weight retention. See your nephrologist. Metformin use is known to deplete B12 levels, so if you've used it for a while, consider using B12. Our team frequently uses vitamin injection therapy in diabetics trying to lose weight to help improve their metabolism as well as deal with potential health problems specifically found in diabetes. Check out the additional information down below to learn more about vitamin injection therapy. 6. Track your progress. Recording your progress is a good way to stay on track during your weight loss journey. For diabetics, in addition to tracking your weight, it's a good idea to be tracking your blood sugar levels, when you're eating, when you're taking your medications, and their doses. If you're taking blood pressure medication, make sure you track your blood pressure as well. This makes it much easier for you and your doctor to modify medication doses and deal with any medical issues while you lose weight. So in summary, if you're a diabetic, weight loss has additional challenges and it will be in your best interest to work with a healthcare professional if you plan to lose weight. You'll have to carefully track more than just your weight and avoid neglecting other health issues related to diabetes. If you need additional help, feel free to reach out to me personally as our team safely and effectively treats many diabetics trying to lose weight. Let me know in the comments down below if you have any questions, and if you found this video helpful, please leave me a like. As before, I'm Dr. Brian Young, bringing you weight loss tips on this channel. Subscribe and hit the notification bell if you're interested in learning more, and share it with someone you know can use the help.